babies. How are you? Are you coming to Switzerland with me? Should we get to the Rolex shop together? Should we get Mummy's a new Rolex? Nah, we won't. So, yeah. Let's see how Claire does it. Oh, yeah, how is it vlogging with these two girls on these days? So, you want to tell everyone what we're doing? Yeah, Zurich and then Nice. And then Zurich might take you to the Rolex shop if you love it. And of course, to do this is in business class. Had to. The um, girl at the check in was so excited. She's like, You guys, what is that? She's a celebrity, and those dogs are celebrity dogs. And everyone wanted to look at the dog, say, Oh, they're celebrity dogs. They're celebrity dogs. It was so funny. Are you a celebrity dog, my little angel? Yeah, you bet I am. To do that, you found the technique. Put your head out. I can't believe Claire's asking me to vlog this. I'm not a vlogger, Claire. I don't know how to do it. So it was. Really, really touching actually when I got to the check in desk, the lady recognized me and said, Oh, they're the celebrity girls from my Shuket. It's so lovely when people come up to you and make these nice comments. She was saying she follows the blog, she loves us, she loves the dogs. And uh, yeah, it was a great experience of mine. I just told Bambi off, we're trying to get out of the bag, and she yawned. She's like, Yeah, what you want? Let's see it, girls. How's it feel having your own seat to do Is that what you wanted? for mummies, but I think we just go take pictures and tease her, but we won't get anyone. Business lounge. I know where you want to go, Bamboo. Maybe? From burn? Hmm. I'm too young to do some of the nights, isn't it? Oh, that's true. No to do that would love it. She's escaped. Don't tell anyone. You want Swiss sausage? Hmm, Swiss sausage. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Bambi? Bambi? Are you in your business class? Yeah? You've got all the seats free for us? Oh, yeah. Where is he putting his bag there? This is my space. Go away, little one. I bet you. I bet you, little finger. So we have that seat free. That's uh, how business works here. It's economy seats, but the middle seat is free. Purely the passenger's hand or stowed away. It is sleeping time now. Please inform the cabin crew immediately. Very tiring if trip, isn't it? Device damaged or produces heat or smoke. Lily, that's fly before you get to see Grandad and Big Sister Belle. There is. Waiting for your suitcase. Found a friend as well. Girls? Where are we? We're at the airport. Gonna pick up mummies, aren't we? Are you excited? Got her some flowers as well. Oh. Flowers, flowers. Babies, there's mummies. <laughs> I got your flowers as well. I left the sticker on. There you go. Finally have my vlogging camera back with the flip so I know what I'm doing. Have you vlogged? No, just 10 seconds on the way here. Oh. 
So he was meant to vlog the journey. If he hasn't, I, there's a huge thumbprint on the lens as well. So I just arrived in Nice, and um, yeah, I arrived. Get to this on the other oh. side. I arrived. I'll put up a picture here. I took a picture of him. He was standing with flowers and the two dogs. But I did go to the dogs first. He um, didn't want to kiss me either. No, I did, but he gets a bit too passionate and we're in public. Yeah, but in, it says French kissing. We're in France, so French kissing comes. And yeah. you're like, mm. What Make did I do? Okay, I'm embarrassed. Um, she's not talking to me. She is. Uh, God, I look awful, sorry. So yeah, I'm not gonna vlog tonight, but uh, yeah, I've arrived. Hello, everyone. So we are in Monaco. It's been three days since I saw you at the airport. I've literally just been relaxing, having, um, like reading books. I feel like you want to get in. Now I'm with my geek chic badge. And geek chic. Lighting's really bad. That's better. Uh, so we're in Monaco. We've got the dogs with us. Bamboo, where are you? I don't know dogs. Jet set to Luli. Oh Listen. my. Oh, we've been walking in here for the last... I think it means on the grass, but they've been Oh, on they've the been on the grass. But uh, that's... Where's Jet Set to Luli? That's not, not Chihuahuas. This is her first time in Monaco as well. Um, we got here quite late, so I, I went into Chanel. Well, that's good. I should have that in London. No dogs, but you have free poopy bags. That's really good. Um, so yeah, I bought myself a little necklace that I couldn't resist. I'll show you it later. It's the matching one to my necklace. Are we going down there? Yeah. Can't really show you Monaco. Sorry, I should have vlogged a little more. That's the bubble shops. So I basically come out of these escalators where we parked, went straight over to these bubble shops, went straight into Chanel and was there for like half an hour. And the casino's just on the other side. Um, and now I'm going to put this in the car, change my shoes and go for dinner. So this is the exit of the car parking. Down there you have like another Chanel and Buddha bar and it's really nice if you go left there. Here's the casino. And then on the right, there's Cafe de Curry. On the right here is the bubble shops where we just were. And you can see the casino better now. You wanna show the bubble shop? Yeah. Bubble so there's a casino. Um, this is down on the right. This is Chanel. And that's where we just were, but we came here quite late, so we only got as far as that. But now we're going to go for a walk um, to see the best sunset ever because Monaco just does really good sunsets. This is an example of what the um, houses look like in Monaco, or the apartments. Come here all the time just because it's my favourite. I literally think it's so pretty. Now you carry on walking. Are you a jet set to Luli? Bambi's a bit worried. I'm gonna show you some good views in a minute. I've changed my shoes. Um, this is my uh, bracelet. I didn't want to leave it in the necklace, so I didn't want to leave it in the car. Changed my shoes because we're going for dinner. And it's not like super hot, so it's like a nice temperature so I can get away with these. These are Magda from Netapulte. This is one of our favourite restaurants in Monaco. It's called Pinocchio. We've just been coming here for years. And that's their little patio area. And it's so nice at night. Look how pretty the streets are. The food's really good and the bread's really good. Bamboo? Lily, this is the palace. And this is the best view ever. So beautiful. You want to see it? <laughs> it's just so charming. What? 
so we are now in Cannes. I'm sorry I didn't vlog yesterday, we just had such a nice day. Uh, I've been on the beach all day and I've got my new sunglasses from Lisbeck. Um, they're actually rose gold, I thought they were silver. This mirror is making me look fatter than I am, although I have been having pan of chocolate every day. No, I do not look like that in real life. A uh, Love Shack fancy dress from Beach Cafe. A uh, wrong choice of shoes because I'm getting a pedicure. Well, they're always fully booked. Um, what This mirror needs to go. It makes me look awful. Um, Paris is buying me something because it's my birthday next week. Uh, but it's actually something that he's buying me that's not really for my birthday. But I can't tell you because it's. Uh, I don't want to jinx it. Uh, but just remember this vlog later on and I'll, I'll tell you. So yeah, that's my outfit, we're in Celine. And um, he wants to do, he wants to get his hair cut and I want to get my nails done. I don't like this mirror, it's making me feel conscious. I'm really into Celine again. Look at this, that is so me. It's like a knitted jumper with a split. So nice. <laughs> For all of you asking, hey, about to do this pearl necklace. This is where we get it from, and every time we come, they never have it. But they find it. This is his measuring tactic. I asked him to measure it, he didn't. Now he's doing some weird hand thing. But this pet shop is so good. I asked you to measure it. This is not a trustworthy way of measuring. <laughs> yeah, that's how I measured it. And that's how it but is. I even asked you. So this, one. this one's 45 euros. I told you because, yeah, they're not cheap. This is like 50 pounds, basically. I told you because the other one, yeah, she had three pearls each side, not two. And then this is their old one. And I really want to get them a new one because the other one is all um, like broken, but they're just so expensive. If we get four, it'll be £200. I'll see you. I've been so bad, bad vlogging, sorry. What have we done? Um, well, the last time I saw you was in Celine. Uh, I thought he was going to pay for it for me because it was like a special present. Something I've been looking for. And he was like, I'm not paying it for you. So I bought it for myself. Then we went to Hermes to get that present that he wanted to get me for my birthday, but it's not there. It's like the end of the day, I'm like all dishevelled. Then what did we do? We went and got the dog collars, which I just showed you. And then, 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 he wanted to get his hair cut, so I said, oh, I want to get my nails done. I never get my nails done. You know that most of the time I do it myself, but sometimes it's a nice treat, I get it done. I knew, you know, you know when you know it's going to be bad? They left me there for ages. And all these little things. This was my nails. So that is my nail. Uh, such a bad job. <coughs> oh god. I'm gonna hate, I'm gonna hate watching this back. How awful, I don't even have any lipstick on. Uh, yeah, there was a huge row in there with a girl because they suck an acrylic fingernail on her, on her finger. Then another person came in and complained and the whole time I'm sitting there thinking, oh God, I've got to tell them about my finger. And I didn't. And then Paris came in and he asked and they were like, they didn't care. So I had that. Um, next time I'll just do my own nails. Uh, we went to Steak and Shake for dinner. And now I'm going to go for drinks. I'm being so bad at this vlogging today. I'm just relaxed, you know, but I just wanted to update you on what we've, what we've done. So it's two hours since I last saw you. I've been so bad at vlogging on this holiday, I'm sorry. Um, I've got a new Celine necklace, which we got earlier. Um, you're probably thinking what the hell she got an S for, but it's a personal thing. So just trust me, it means something to me. Uh, I've got my Jacquemus dress on. I've got these amazing new earrings. They're from a quite a small new brand from LA. 
she's got a shop on Etsy. I love her stuff. She does like an ombre pink pair, uh, which I'll show you when I get home. Still the same bag as earlier. This Chanel goes with everything. This that you've seen on my Instagram uh, quite a few times. I've got my Lura Manolos on. They're so comfy as well. And they're good when it's hot because there's no back. Can you see? They're super comfortable. Uh, we are now going to the Martinez. Um, I'm gonna go to the Martinez now for a little drink. Um, and I'll show, you, I'll show you, as long as we can get a table, I'll show you what that's like. He's there, he's got my other camera bag and he likes it because it matches his loafers apparently. Do you have anything to say? You wanna show your new haircut? This is the same person that did your hair for the wedding in uh, Provence. No, no, they go about the same place, yeah. They do it really good. They all remember me and it was three years ago. Oh, they did? So this is Cam by Night, the new Gucci store, that sort of store, I mean, with all marble. I like this time of year because it's not too packed. What did you have for dinner? Uh, it's not Shake Shack, it's... Uh, steak and Shake. Steak and Shake. It's actually really good. I'm just trying to film you and because... who always sends back their fries? I don't even bother anymore. I should next time take the fries and give them back. Yeah, because if I'm going to waste my calories, it needs to be hot. I understand. And they were cold. I'll just swap them over. Yeah, we need to actually film more because I haven't filmed all day. Okay. It's just my face telling them what we've done. Well, let's go to the Majestic and Why don't you share the plans of what we're doing for the rest of the week? And not show you the back of your head. Well, this is night time. I don't even know if you can see anything. You can. There. You can. Go next to the fairy light. What's the plan tomorrow? Yeah. Oh my god, you're getting told off by the police. No, I'm not. <laughs> this is my mic. So tomorrow morning we should depart around 11 a.m. to go to... You're never getting ready for 11 a.m. Okay, to Saint-Tropez. On the way we'll stop at some uh, winemakers and taste some rosés. We should get at Saint-Tropez, I don't know what time, and then do I don't know what. <laughs> what are you doing with red boxes or that? So they stole something and they're in a hurry. Um, so we're going to go to Saint-Tropez for two days, yeah? Merci for you, beaucoup. my darling. Time to pay for two days, then we're going to go antique shopping in Valbonne, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, that's on the way back. And yeah. then we're going on a boat on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, but the boat we're getting, we're trying to find the exact little dinghy, like not like a super yacht or anything. It's the one that he took me on when we very first came here together, like like years and years ago when we were really young. So we're going to try and hunt that, that boat down and go on it again. Yeah, so that's the update. So this is the Martinez, where we've just been. There's always these cars, I don't really get it. I don't know why everyone's so bothered. We're on our way to Saint Tropez and we've stopped at the Minuti Vineyard. Do you say vineyard or vineyard? I would, uh, what do you say? But what do you say? Vineyard or vineyard? Vineyard. Vineyard, okay. He bought um, a Minuti as big as his body. But they're ones that you can't get in the supermarket as well. But look how beautiful it is here. So typical. Oh, look, there it is. How beautiful. Yeah, this one looks tiny, but isn't this a magnum? No, Oh, so this is bigger than a magnum. We had magnums at the um, at the Ritz wedding. We had Whisper, Whisper and Angel. Uh, but I actually love Minuti. This is bigger than a magnum, but it looks like a little baby. I think that was 70 euros, which is just so much cheaper than at home. I had my horrendous pedicure that I had yesterday. 
I'll link my flip flops below because these are my faves. Um, yeah, so this is what our vineyard looks like. Look how peaceful it is. So pretty. So I have the yellow Lurum. I wore the black ones last night. I just love these shoes. Uh, this is the Chanel boutique. I forgot my words then. This is actually the oldest house in Saint-Tropez. I don't like you filming here, but you can just see it looks like a house. If they're there, they're going to tell me off. Oh, there's no one there. So it's literally the oldest house and at the back it has the swimming pool. They get all the beach resort there. Um, all the, the beach and summer stuff. If you want espadrilles, bikinis, sundresses. All the coast Chanel boutiques have the best one. So now we're gonna go for a drink. Um, they literally didn't really have much in there. They didn't have much in there, did they? Because it's in between seasons. You've had enough, haven't they had you? Beach stuff. Yeah, they had amazing beach stuff while we live in London. Okay, come on then, let's go. You've got a hole in your t-shirt. got a hole in my t-shirt. got <laughs> a hole in my heart. You do? Yeah. This is the famous square. Our hotel is literally just up there. The Chanel boutique is up there. Um, we just checked out this hotel. It's like one of the cheapest hotels in Saint-Tropez. I think it was like 140 euros. It's got like a really cute terrace. It's extremely basic, but if you want to come to Saint-Tropez uh, for 140 euros a night, that's a really good location. Paris is in here. This is the famous Saint-Tropez cake. It is pretty amazing. He took me here when we first met each other. So that's the famous cake. It's the cake of Saint-Tropez. And he's getting one. On the other side of the square is this hotel, it's called the White Hotel and I think it's going to be your favourite because, oh, because, why is it because, because it's very Instagrammable and I'm going to show you why. We were going to stay here but I preferred my one because it's like cute with a swimming pool um, and I just think you get more for your money. It's right next to Celine which means that you get a Celine sofa, I'll pop a picture here, so it's in there. Look how beautiful. Probably gonna get told off. Look. See, I'll just risk my life for you for that Celine chair because it's next to the Celine shop. And the rooms are really nice. They're all white, but it's, it's a little bit expensive um, and very small. There's no swimming pool. So although it's beautiful, it is stunning. Look at that, it's like my dream house. I just preferred the cuteness of the other one and it had a pull. But mm, gosh, I do really like that one. Then I'm gonna go in Celine. This is the old town of Saint Tropez. And I much prefer this area than to the port. And I recommend that you stay somewhere um, in the central location because then you can just pop in and out and just walk and find a random restaurant. The ones by the port are really expensive and a bit more, I don't know, like flashy. Oh wow, this is so lovely. We haven't even got change for dinner yet. Look at that, look at that for a picture. I just need a little love. You tell me that you're sorry. I'm not sorry. What you sorry for? Need a little love. I just need a little love. Cause all I do is work hard, no sleep, breath, baby. All I do is work hard, no sleep, breath, baby. All I do is work hard, no sleep, breath, baby. Give a little love to a hit song. We just finished dinner, didn't we? Yeah. Talks. I got flats on. That was so nice, wasn't it?
What was it called? The Standard? Nice. The Strand? The Strand, yeah. The Strand, so we just discovered it earlier. Oh, I and I love anywhere with fairy lights. And it was really nice. The cocktails were nice. Oh, um, nice. I filmed so it on. Table. I filmed it on my phone, so I didn't get to show you. And now, where are we going? Do you want to go to the port? Uh, apparently, it's a new bar on the on the port. The uh, locals told me. Called La Petite Plage, the little beach. So we're gonna go there now. And then apparently, Pablo. Is it Pablo? I'm not sure I can laugh. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure I can laugh at anyone. Yeah, I normally go to bed by now, but yes, I'm yes, making yes. the effort. Pablo, so. This is our breakfast this morning. Our cute balcony. Here's the pool. And this is literally in the heart of Saint Tropez. Um, two eggs, bread basket, and black coffee. Just checking out of our hotel. This is where we stayed, Hotel Delis. Um, it's only a three star, but it was really lovely. We literally were just walking along and we found this and we were meant to be going to another hotel 10 minutes out of the town, which had like amazing gray wood paneling, huge pool, but we just loved this so much. And it was more expensive than the five star 10 minutes away, but because it's such a good location, uh, that's why it was the same price but we were so happy with it rooms were clean we just walked in there's so many dogs that, that are inside because all the staff bring their dogs to work and then there's this little cute dog i don't think it's here today that it was a rescue dog from mauritius i think and they used to use it as shark bait here's my outfit um oh here's one this is lola 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 very chilled. She's always on this huge sea. I'm not sure we're doing a bag count. Um, but what I wanted to show you is it's three o'clock in the afternoon. We've been walking around all day. We've done a few pictures. And I still look beautiful. And he's so happy that he can wear a grey t-shirt. I know you hate it, but show me your arms. Oh, yeah, I've been sweating all day climbing. This is honestly, it is insane. And this is a grey t-shirt in the sun, 35 degrees, going up and down hills. And this one, show me. Whoa, we can't believe it. It's literally been the topic of conversation this week. That, um... So when did you see um, Mr. Golchin? Um, about, no, I reckon it was about six weeks ago. And he, he said it's the best investment a man can make because he feels really confident man. now. Yeah. That's the Gillette advert. Um, yes, yeah, so we just finished the Dior Cafe, which is down there. It's really nice. And now we're going to head back to the beach at home because his friends are there. Do you want a crab? I can fatten you No, up. no, no, we've just Ooh, eaten. Uh, uh, we had a lovely lunch and oh, now... Amazing, he, no, we're in a rush! You've just eaten! He doesn't stop eating, I think he's got worms. Um, yeah, his friends are French and they're over from Singapore and they've had a baby, so we're doing a barbecue at his house. There is chihuahuas everywhere, the, by the way. I'm having a conversation. Yeah, I'm having... I'm talking about something else. So if you love dogs, there are dogs everywhere in the south of France because everywhere allows dogs. Um, and if you ever want to know about my interior design inspiration, it's pretty much from the south of France or Paris. Like these, these doors, I first saw these about six years ago. And that's why I love the Dior windows that I have at my house, the mirrors. Um, I changed my outfit, by the way because I was just so hot in that linen dress. It's really, really hot, and I've got the, this floaty one on. He's going to that trapezium shop again to get a cake. Look how amazing. 
It's basically like a gigantic chouquette. Like that's a chouquette there, but then there's like custard inside. Hello and welcome to the final part of the Cannes South of France vlog. I actually intended to film this whole thing on the beach and do like a beach unboxing, beach chat, but it was such so nice just to have a break. South of France is the only place where I can now fully have a holiday because it's the family house, it's, you know, we keep it private. I go there all the time and this thing that I have is that if I go somewhere new, of course I can relax if I want, but I'm never going to go back there again, so the creativeness in me and the fact that I'm a blogger, we both want to explore Paris with his travel and all of that that he does we want to just constantly create content and that's the only place I can't so and I really needed to switch off plus it was always too busy and noisy so I'm basically finishing off this vlog just to summarize um taking your dogs to, to France because I feel like maybe I didn't cover everything or it was a bit bitty and we did actually film this whole thing last summer I actually traveled with him and we filmed a vlog it turned out being so annoying to take the dogs because we had a delay in Zurich or something for eight hours and it was awful and then another four hours and we ended up being there so long that we were in the airport on our anniversary and that was when I was doing YouTube completely on my own and Paris wasn't helping me. I never had time to do the video and I never put it up because I, I know you don't like seeing old videos. I actually still have the footage from last summer. If you would like to see it, I'm happy to put it together. Paris is happy to put it together and I'll show you it but I know that you don't like seeing old videos so do let me know about that and I was vlogging the dogs and I know that Paris didn't do that much so to answer all your questions you can take your dogs I'm sure everybody knows that you can put them in the hold and you can do it that way we don't want to put our dogs in the hold like they're very fragile especially little to Luli. she's a rescue dog she gets really bad anxiety I'm not just saying it but she does she gets really bad anxiety Bambi, we, we kind of made the mistake of, because we work from home, that Bambi is with us 24-7. At least Tallulah was kind of left on her, not that's a good thing, but she was left on her, her own for the first two years of her life. So she's actually quite okay with being alone. Bambi isn't. So it's just not an option for us and we don't want to do that. So um, we take them on the plane with us. The bag's downstairs. Oh, you've seen it at the beginning of the video anyway. So the rule is the, the dog and the bag has to be under eight kilograms. I know that Paris put a lot of writing at the front, but it might have been a bit quick for you. So if your dog is over eight kilograms, then I'm afraid you can't take them on the plane with you. But if you've got a dog under eight kilograms, you can take them as long as it's in one of those black bags. Um, uh, ours was a little bit small where they've both put on a bit of weight, but... At the same time, they just snuggle together in the corner anyway. So you have to have one of the ba those bags. They have to be under eight kilograms. They obviously have to have their passport and all their injections and their rabies and their checkups. But that that's common sense. Um, and as you see from Paris, they have to be on the floor in the bag. But some countries and some air staff, they actually don't mind if you have the dog out a little bit. So that's the rule. The really annoying thing is that you can't fly and land back into the UK unless you have your private jet, which we don't have. So it's really annoying and I don't know why it is this rule. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I've just washed my hair so it's a bit flat. Um, yeah, it's so incredibly annoying. So what we do is... Paris's parents obviously live in South of France for most of the summer and they have a huge million mois, huge dog. Um, and they want to take their car over there so they drive over there and then they drive back so we take the dogs we only go with the dogs towards the end before they're going to come back and then we they stay a few extra days and then they drive back with them so ours is really lucky our situation is really lucky like that last year when we took them uh we did that as well but the year before or the time before when we took them we actually drove to paris then flew from paris flew back to Paris and drove back from Paris. So it's a bit long. Um, and you all know that you can drive there and drive back with your dog. But yeah, that's how we do it. We basically fly them there. You can't fly on a British like BA or EasyJet. It has to be like one of the, the airlines that Paris told you about. Um, 
fly out there, really difficult to get back and they have to be flown home or come back in the hold. So that's that. If I did miss out any information, please leave me the comment here. Um, it's easy if you do it like that and then email in because if I email you back or DM you back, then everybody else doesn't get to see the answer. So please leave your comment if I miss anything out. The next thing that I wanted to do is, and this is what I was going to do in France, is talk about the jewellery that I took with me to France because I had it all laid out and I thought, oh, I want to talk about my jewellery. Never did, but I definitely want to do it. The reason why I want to talk about it is I love jewellery and I've been really really getting into jewellery the last year, especially fine jewellery. I think it's just a special gift, special like momentous thing to have, is that the right word? When I always buy myself fine jewellery or something when I've achieved something or a moment in my life because it's something that you can keep forever passed down. So I'm all about jewellery at the moment. I've always loved custom jewellery and I just think it's such a fab thing to take on holiday because I had a whole box I had a whole box of jewellery and it just transformed all my outfits. Like you can have, this is one of my favourites. Oh, I've just realised that that's come undone. It's just a hook, so it's fine. Um, this is a Dylan, Dylan and Lex choker. I'll leave the link to everything below and I always put size references as well. So I just got a plain, plain tee on, plain acne leather jacket. And then look at the difference if you just put, obviously, under my hair. But just look up. This isn't broken. This is literally just a hook. It's a hook that goes on here. So I just think it transforms an outfit. And you can just put basics in your, in your suitcase. And bougie it up with some, some accessories. And I just love the Dylan Lex stuff. And I've also got the bracelet. But I actually wore this with a white blouse. And then with my long chain that I bought myself for my birthday, which I'm going to show you in a second. So my advice to you is pack lots of jewellery, like big hoops, chunky necklaces, dainty necklaces. It's just a way to dress up an outfit without packing too much. Or you could have a black dress, wear it completely plain, or a red dress, whatever it is you like. Or a denim skirt, denim dress. And then the next day you could put like big feather hoops and make it more Spanishy. See where I'm getting at? Like it's just a way to pack and transform outfits. So, um, oh, where's that? I really wanted to show you the one that Paris got me. So first of all, I'm going to talk about this. This is what I got in Salim. I love these necklaces. C is a bit of a rubbish letter. I obviously have the C one. It's a bit rubbish because it kind of just looks like a hook or like a half moon. You can't really, it doesn't scream at you with it that it's a C because it's like a big bamboo. Whereas all the other, like some of the letters really stand out like S, E, A, K, these kind of strong E, strong letters where you can fully see. So I really wanted a letter like that. I didn't just buy a random one. An S has meaning to me, um, which I promise, like I said earlier, I promise you'll find out one day, just not now. So that's that. I bought myself that. Um, I need to go and get the the one that Paris bought me. I think, where, where did I put that? How annoying. It's because I'm being scatty because... I have a car, oh here it is, I have a car picking me up any second and I'm not even ready. This is what I've had on all day, at least my makeup's done. So this is what Paris bought me. I left in the Dior Cafe, can you believe that? Whoa, you scared the life out of me. You're saying uh, what you got in South of France. You haven't had a shower though. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I want to show it. I want to show this Whoa. beautiful thing. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, excuse. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh my god, that's so heavy. How big is this? Uh, six litres, so it's oh, uh, 12 bottles. Whoa, that no, is insane. Look at that. You need to take it off me. That's seriously heavy. Oh my goodness. So we went to the Minuti. Um, what, what's it called? Minuti Chateau. Minuti Chateau. Vanyard. So we put that in the bar, yeah? Yeah, decoration. Don't, don't you dare I've drop it. I've got different it. sizes. I've got the size just under and another size just under. Don't you dare drop that or fall down the stairs. It's called the Metsu like... ZM. Um, so this is what he bought me. It's not actually for my birthday, even though he's kind of changed his mind thinking it's for his birth my birthday. Um, he actually picked this as well. This is a Celine. I might wear it tonight. A Celine little cuff. 
with a pearl, which you can see there. And I just love it. I also really love the knot one. It only comes in yellow gold, but I kind of like that because I used to only wear gold. Then I went heavily into loving silver and white gold because my engagement ring, my Kelly that I have, and my Rolex is, is silver. But I'm loving getting back into yellow, uh, yellow gold and the necklace is yellow gold. And I think I'm going to treat myself to the knot bracelet as well and stack that up. So he bought me that and he bought me that as a kind of post wedding gift because after our French wedding he bought me um, an Hermes Kelly, like the thing Kelly bracelet. So it was kind of like a pattern he wanted to continue on. But now he's saying it's my birthday. So in my birthday vlog, I share all what I got, all what I bought myself. Um, so that'll be the video after this. So stay tuned for that. That's all filmed. And I was so annoyed with Celine because I've bought myself three things in the UK. I bought myself the S in can and no one gave me one of these bags. I had my friend, my lovely friend and my cousin bought me some something from Celine, which I'm going to show you in another video. I actually think I'm wearing it right now. But um, in my birthday video, I, I share you. And she told me that everybody who buys something Celine gets one of these. How cute is that? And I never got one with all the stuff I've bought. So if you buy something Celine, demand these because they're clearly keeping them for their favourite clients or people that spend a lot. Another uh, couple of things from my holiday jewellery box. Uh, these earrings, I'm going to pop her Instagram here. I made the mistake of saying she's from LA. I'm just so used to saying American things were from LA. But she's actually from New Jersey, which I really want to visit New Jersey because I watch Real Housewives of New Jersey. These are incredible. Um, she's so nice as well. You can buy these on Etsy. They are us. When I first saw these, I thought, oh, they're going to be quite pricey, but I don't care because I absolutely love them. And they are so affordable. And then I got these last minute because, oh, I just, because I have my pink. Oh my God, sorry, itchy nose, itchy nose. Because I have my pink shrinks bag. I wanted these and I love it that they're ombre and not too pink. Everybody was asking me if they're heavy. These are pink. The, the clasp is actually pink gold, not rose. It's like fully pink. So the answer is they're a little bit heavy, but I'm glad because they've got a bit of weight to them. If they didn't, they would feel really cheap. Um, so they're a perfect weight, got a little bit of weight to them, so they don't, they don't feel cheap, but they're not heavy that they drag on your ear. That's, that's that. I recommend taking a belt with you. So I took this with me, you know, this is probably the best sour thing I've ever bought in my life, apart from my yellow Manolo Barnic Lurum. I love this belt. I'm so pleased that I bought it. I was on like a shopping ban and I'm so glad I bought it. Um, and I also got this, which is in the set. I paid like £130 for that. So I fully recommend taking a belt. I wore this so much. You can. I was wearing like my black skirt, um, like a black denim skirt and a white blouse and putting this on. I was putting it around black dresses, tea dresses. I was literally putting it play suits. I was putting it with everything. It's just something to zhuzh up. And you know when you're hot and you want to wear like a, like a chiffon sundress, but then you can pull it in. They can also double up as necklaces. So I recommend getting a chain, one like this. Like, obviously, it doesn't have to be a Chanel one. Uh, but, of course, Chanel do them all year round. So I fully recommend having a belt like this for a holiday. And there's the bracelet. So um, I think... Oh, and my Hermes CDC. Oh, I don't know why my nose is so itchy. I always take an Hermes CDC with me when I travel. Just because if I want to wear... Oh, it actually goes with what I'm wearing. Just because if I want to wear something a bit masculine and chunky and jeans and a tee, I, I just think this goes so well. I normally wear them when I go to the airport so I don't have to pack them. Uh, but the the focus of... Oh, oh, I nearly forgot to show you this. The focus of this video is just to encourage you to take jewellery with you on holiday. So this is what I bought. What is that doing in there? This is what I bought myself in Chanel. I really wasn't going to buy myself anything. Uh, but as soon as I saw it, I just knew that I would regret getting it if I didn't get it. And I've worn it so much. And when I look back at the pictures, I just think, yeah, that is such a fab buy. So I have the matching earrings to this. It is literally the same pendant. It is literally like that. And I adore them. I get so many comments of the, on them on the street from you guys. And I wear them all the time. And I love it that it's like a brushed gold. So it's not really gold, not really silver. 
not brushed gold, sorry, it's champagne gold. So you can, it's discreet, it's not gold, it's not silver, but you can match it with either. And it's mainly pearls, a given. And I just loved it so much that I just, like, look at that. And I've been wearing it with the black hoodie, I've been wearing it with the, the Dylan X. Dylan Lex choker, it looks so good with the choker, it looks so good layered, and I'm so happy I bought it. It was around 4 460, which I don't think is that bad because the earrings were 1000 something, so that makes sense. These are obviously worth 420, two of them 840, and then my brain is going because I think my car's just pulled up and I'm panicking. And then the earrings have a miniature version, so it makes sense that it, it costs that much. So I need to end this video now because my car is literally outside and I don't even know what I'm going to wear. I'm going to take my shoes off now when I'm talking to you. I just filmed a video of my three new pairs of designer shoes that I just bought. That will probably be up next, so go ahead. Yeah, that's definitely going to be up next, so stay tuned for that designer shoe unboxing video. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry that I've added another 15 minutes on because I talk and talk, but I wanted to show you the jewellery and talk to you about the dogs. Um, feel free to leave me any questions. And if you'd like to see that old vlog from last year, I don't think you do, let me know. Okay, I need to go. See ya, bye.